Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and welcome back to the Smolensk 1941 campaign for Game 4, Attacking Table 5, Sutevo. So, recap to this point, it's been all Germans uh, this entire campaign. They haven't lost a game, they've only lost two men, only one killed in action, and they've just been steamrolling the Soviets who have not put up much of a fight. Uh, but today, the Soviets are really not going to have any choice but to put up a fight because we're at the last table, their supply base proper, in the little town of Sutevo. I guess the more proper pronunciation would be Sutovo. So, either way, this is the final table that the uh, Soviets are holding on to. If the Germans capture this one, they're going to close the uh, Kessel and it's going to be game over for the Soviets. Well, technically it won't be, but if they lose this one, they're going to be attacking me on this table over and over again until they push me off. And I'm just going to keep getting stronger. So essentially this is the end of the campaign if the Soviets cannot hold on to this and retake the initiative. So terrain wise we're going to be using our Geek Villain Grassy Hill map tonight. We haven't used this one for a while but uh, looks pretty close to the map that Steven made for uh, this campaign for this map. So uh, if you wanted to get this map you know, check the description as always you can get it from there. So otherwise uh, we're going to have a lot of open ground. We're going to have a big patch of woods here. A couple smaller patches there and a couple smaller patches here. These are going to be standard woods rules, 4 inch visibility, soft cover. Uh, we also have one light cover building here. We have a light cover uh, wheat field here. And this is a train station. This is supposed to be a train track. We don't have any train tracks sadly. So uh, this will be hard cover if you are lining either side of it. And the, these buildings are going to be hard cover as well. And other than that, we have some swamps. We've got a swamp there and a couple of patches of swamp over there. And just a little trail over there as well, which will count as a road for any kind of vehicle purposes. Um, either side can use either of these. All right, <laughs> take it back. They will have to come in on the road, which will be that thing. They're not going to be able to come in on the train track. So uh, that should do it for the terrain. The mission we will be using on this uh, table tonight is Scenario 6 from the rulebook Attack and Objective. So the objective is going to be this building here. This is the Soviet supply base. So the Soviets are going to be starting on this side and they will be starting with four patrol markers on the objective. Meanwhile the Germans can pick three or four patrol markers and they'll place them anywhere on their edge and they will also get up to four free moves. And then they will, each player will place three jump off points and then the, the defenders will get one free jump off point on the objective itself. And the objective of this is to for the Germans to capture the Soviet supply base. And they have to hold it until the uh, Soviets withdraw, or of course, we could just blast them right off the table and just waltz up and capture the objective. So pretty simple, just get it, get on the board and reach the Soviet supply, date, supply base, close the ring, and uh, trap hundreds of thousands of Soviet soldiers and march to Moscow. Start out by looking at the uh, Soviet uh, platoon for this game. So the Soviets get a free or a fresh platoon every single game. So it's going to be a fresh platoon, but they are going to have a pretty big hit to their force and morale uh, roles and their support roles, which we'll talk about in a second. But uh, so this is a platoon from the 69th Motorized Rifle Division, and this is a force rating of minus three. They're going to have five command dice, and they're going to be led by a senior leader with pistol. They're also going to have one 5 centimeter mortar team with three crew, and then three identical squads. These are led by a sergeant with a rifle, and there's a three-man LMG team inside of the squad, and then seven riflemen. So these are just one big team squad. They're not broken up into two teams like the German squads. Um, and that is the Soviet platoon. As far as the uh, opinion of the men and, and stuff for the campaign, uh, the Soviets, they have two um, uh, resource points that they can spend in this game. I don't. I think they didn't get to roll for it last time, or maybe they did. I'll have to double check that. He might have more. But for right now, he's he has two resource points left after game two. And they are going to be down to minus three on their men's opinion, minus three on their CO's opinion, which is going to be a minus one to both their force morale and to their support. And they're going to have another minus one on their force morale roll because the platoon leader's outlook is retiring, which gives them another minus one. On this side, we have the mighty first platoon. These guys have been steamrolling the entire campaign. 
They're down only two guys, one man killed, one man wounded. Their men's opinion is at plus five. There's going to be a plus one on their force morale roll. The CO's opinion is a plus four, which is another support point. And then their uh, his own outlook is secure. I think that might be a plus one. Maybe not. I'll have to double check that. And they have four resource points left as well. So these guys are a shoot and platoon from the 6th Motorized Regiment of the 7th Panzer Division. And these guys are pretty solid. Um, they're going to be a plus 3 on their force rating difference, so that's a 6 uh, difference for the, uh, the platoons. And they're going to be commanded by Lieutenant Jens Kopke. Uh, he's been rolling this whole time. He's, a, he's armed with a pistol. And assisting him is his trusty platoon sergeant, uh, Luke Lankowski, and he is armed with a machine pistol. And then we have the five centimeter mortar team. Then we got three identical squads, SMG sergeant, and then a uh, three man LMG team, and then one rifleman, and then two extra riflemen. And that is the first platoon. They're down two guys, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to break up the five centimeter mortar, and I'm gonna just distribute those guys with rifles throughout the platoon. So that'll bring all the squads back up to full strength. Plus one, I just won't have a five centimeter mortar, which really is not a, a huge loss as it's kind of just more of a hassle to try to keep going and moving and worrying about using commands on it. Uh, it's just, for me, I found it's just better just to put those guys in the platoon and let them soak up bullets if need be. So that will do it for the platoons. So Robert's going to be running his Soviets tonight. Hopefully he changes his game plan up and realizes that this is pretty much the end of the campaign if he can't hold. So I expect to see him come out uh, early and hopefully in hard cover and try to light this first platoon up, at least get them weakened so that another platoon might have to come in. And they're going to have to uh, win this game. And if they do, they can counterattack and start going back into Arcevo. So let's hope that happens. Uh, if not, then that's it for Smolensk. It'll fall to the, to the Germans and we'll move on to the, to the Soviet capital. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Robert's arrived. Uh, he's been briefed. He's placed his jump off points on his objective. I placed a stack of three right there. And a little bit of uh, corrections from earlier. Robert actually has 10 resource points he can spend in this one. And I'm gonna have five support points. And Robert's gonna have seven, which is half of mine, plus his uh, his uh, four trading difference, plus the CO's opinion, or minus the CO's opinion, I should say. So, force morale wise, he's at an eight, I'm at a nine. And we're gonna go ahead and do the patrol phase. That is it for the patrol phase. So I got one here in the woods, I got one here in the woods, and I got one here in the wheat field. And then Robert has one behind this tree here. He's got one over there by the swamp on the edge. He's got another one behind the building, and then he's got one that is the building. And those are the jump off points, and we're ready to begin. And the attacker has the first phase, oh, I'm sorry, plans. Mm -hmm. We gotta do plans. So we'll figure out our support and then we'll come back with our plans. Okay, so I am spending all 10 of my resource points. I get a free bunker, which I have to deploy as a static defense. And since I got a jump off point here, this building, it's within six of the building, so it's right there. I am taking KV, Adishka, Irregular Maxim, and two sets of entrenchments for my troops. And basically, we're going to defend this complex. Um, basically, bring the KV on immediately. I figure his main he's going to build his base of fire up here and push this way because that's where all of his jump off points are. So no sense in trying to get get fancy. Basically, just deploy. I've got hard cover here. I've got hard cover here. I can deploy any of my squads in these buildings that I want, mortar behind it, um, MG's gonna go in the bunker, Dishka's gonna go in the, probably this building, or possibly up here, 
because of the arc of fire outside the windows. And we're just going to fort up everybody in hardcover and pick a German squad and blow it away. All right, so I was expecting um, Robert to bring a lot of entrenchments and wire, or not entrenchments, but wire and minefields, stuff like that, and I don't see anything. That's just his bunker, the free one, I believe. And so I brought two mine, I brought a mine clearing team and I brought a wire clearing team. And that was mainly if he was gonna put wire and mines in here, I would clear it. So that's a waste of two points. I also brought the flamethrower team. I get a three point flamethrower team if he has a bunker, which he does. And so that's my five support points. And then I am gonna use all four of my resource points to bring a five centimeter pack 38, I believe it is. Um, which I think I'm glad I did because now that I see that he has no no investment in static defenses, I'm assuming he's going to bring some tanks. So that five centimeter uh, pack gun might come in handy here. So uh, plan wise, I'm just going to load up in the uh, in the woods here and blast away. Put my pack in here. Put a couple squads. Maybe put a squad out here. I don't know. But the main thing is going to be just load up here, create a giant base of fire and dare him to uh, come out. I'm assuming he's probably going to come out in all hard cover. I would do that. Um, so it'd be soft cover against hard cover. He could possibly win that firefight with a few good uh, double phases and whatnot and some good rolling. So it's not a gimme, um, but it just depends on all the support he brought. So we'll see. And I'm hoping the Soviets can uh, fight back in this one because I really don't want the campaign to end right now. So if he can take this board and counterattack back into Yarsevo, and we, we might make a campaign out of it yet. So uh, that's my plan. So that's the plans done, and the attacker gets the first phase of the game, and I am the attacker. So here we go. Here we go. Trying to close the Kessel. So chain of command point, and a one, two, three. Got in two sections, uh, both in the woods. Um, with the three and the, the three and the two and the one, I made two threes. Everyone's on Overwatch. Okay. And we'll just go right into the Soviets' first phase. So what do we got here? Okay. A four. Three different, two different colors. Two different two. Okay. Know, one, okay. two, two, four. One, two, two, four. So Roberts brought one of his support units in, the KB2. KB1. KB1, I'm sorry. And he's going to fire at this N team, so it only spread to these teams. So HE uh, first. Hidden fours. Two hits. Two hits, uh, no cover. Yep. So team on the uh, left, team on the right. So point of shock. And that's what six machine gun dice. Yep. Okay. So one point of shock on the team on the left. All right. Machine gun. I think I'm gonna need fives. Probably yeah, over eighteen. Or is it twenty-four? It doesn't matter. Okay. So nothing with the machine gun. So the, one point of shock. So that was the three. That was That's it. That's all he's going to do. Just the KB1. Yep. And I will roll double phase and two fours and a five. Mm. Okay. Well. Okay. So I'll deploy one of my leaders. So that was it. I just put Kopke out there with the uh, blob and the trees there. Shoot. Next phase, we're going to do a full one. Two more fives and a two and a one. Brought my uh, pack 38 in here on the end of the line. And we're taking a shot at the uh, tank, so I'm going to use both my leader's commands to focus the fire, so I'll be needing a four. You hit. It's a hit, so it's one, two, three, four. It's an AP seven on this thing. Uh -huh. It's crazy. <laughs> I got a zero. So. I can still blow it. I didn't. You didn't, so it just bounced off, bounced. no problem. And that's all I can do. So I'm up to four uh, chain of command points, yep. and that's it. So it's the Soviet phase. Six, four, four, three, and a two. First thing to do is have the KV-1 fire at the pack with the HE first. That's a whiff. And then MGs. And then six MG shots at the pack. Even fives. One. One hit. Yep. You're in heavy cover. Hard cover. Nada. Where? Okay. Uh, so you that was a three. And you have a two yeah. and a, two and two four. So that's all he's gonna do is just fire a few a shell and a machine gun burst from the uh, tank. So burn six and one two two four. Brought in my last section or my last squad here on the end. So now I have a full tree line of guys 
And the only other thing I can do is fire the pack again at the KV-1. Mm -hmm. But in uh, three. That's a hit. Okay, I can't possibly whiff as bad as I did last time, can I? Yes, you can. Uh, oh, shoot. Three. three sixes. Three sixes. So three sixes with the pack 38. Two sixes. Two sixes. So, uh, one net hit. Roll me a D6 for one net hit. Six. Oh, those are always good. Uh, one net hit on a six. Two shock, reverse two D6 immediately. <laughs> He's going to back off the table. And take two shock. KV1 is backed off, but he'll be able to come back in when the turn ends. If the turn ends. One, two, two, four, four. six. What? Brought in uh, the Dishka. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in this top floor here. Yep. So Dishka, and then a machine gun, and then four rifles. So first will be the Dishka. Onto the back. Uh, five hits. Five hits. So the pack is within four of this entire squad. So we'll put one on the pack. Light cover. Dead. That's a dead guy. And then the team, the, the squad is going to be no cover. Dead. Another dead. Oh dead. man. Two dead. Wow, four dead. Four dead. <laughs> okay. Check so, your leaders. All right. So the pack. Nope. Team one. No. Team two. No. Okay. Nope. So I lost two guys out of here. Yep. One guy out of here. And then one guy out of the pack. Now the squad. Eight and fives. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, so that'll be two each. Now hardcover for the pack. Point of shock. Team one. Point of shock. Team two. Dead. One dead. Okay. Take your leader. No. Not the leader. But another dead guy. So team two has been reduced. And with the remaining two. That squad has come in on the objective. And he is going to fire out of the windows and the door. So it's going to be 13 shots at the pack. But I'll be spreading them all over the place. So it needs fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay. Another six. Six, so two on this end team. Actually, no. That's the <laughs> yeah. team that's pretty decimated. So I'll put one on the end team there. So point, point of shock. shock. And then the next team. Two points of shock. Okay, then the pack. Point Another of point shock. of shock. And then the other guys. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so I'll put all the shock out. And the last thing he did was bring the, the lieutenant in back over there somewhere, out of sight, but within mm -hmm. nine of everybody. Yep. So I've got two, uh, one dead with just a team, or the machine gun, two guys from the machine gun, and then two shock, and then two more shock on the pack, and then one shock on these guys. All right, here we go. We got targets, so we can get something. So three twos and a three and another chain of command points. Mm -hmm. All right, so I made a major blunder. I didn't fire my overwatch. That would have gave me a lot more shots at those guys. But since I already rolled my command dice, we're not going to do take back seas for that. Uh, but uh, with the three, I activated the leader for the pack. I pulled the shock, and we're going to fire into the building. Okay. That building up there. You pulled one point of shock or all the shock? Uh, just one, because okay. he's only got two commands. So. Okay. Uh, I got to see what the HE is for this thing. Before so HE, needing fours onto the corner of that building there where that dish is. That's four hits. Four hits. Okay. So two each. Two on the Dishka, yep, two, two on, the, on dishka, the squad. And two on the squad. So the Dishka. Uh, point of shock. Uh, yep, point of shock. And the squad. Point a of point shock. of shock. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I just missed out on, well, my entire round of shooting. So that was a massive mistake. Um, but I'm going to have uh, Kopke's going to order both of these guys to fire. And he's going to do uh, machine gewehr, I guess, on one of the uh, machine gun teams with his extra one. And with the two, I'm going to have this depleted squad over here fire. I had uh, one squad that had one extra man from that five centimeter mortar team. So it's going to have 20 shots, and then Kopke's also going to do machine gewehr onto okay, that as well. So, so this will be 21 shots uh, into that building there, because okay. that's all I can see. Yep. Uh, need well, you, can, you can see this one as well. Uh, no, because we're out of the arc. So that's why that's one of the reasons I didn't fire that Overwatch okay. the first time is because we can't see those guys from the window. They're shooting out of the front window there. 
They're shooting out of this whole window, so. Yeah, so I can't see that. Okay. So I am. I'm needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And hard cover onto the guys on the in the objective building. I gotta weaken those guys. So, one dead. One dead and two shock. Okay. Is it a leader? Of it course. <laughs> And he's dead. No, he's got a wound. Okay. So he's down a wound. So roll a bad thing for uh, junior leader wounded. It's probably a minus, minus one. Minus one. So he's going to be down to a seven. He lost nobody. He took two shock. And he has a wounded leader. Now the next squad will do 20 shots. Can it do machine gun there? One, two, three. No. Then it's only Four, 19. Five, six, seven. Uh, no, that's 20. The one was 21, one was 20. But you, one was so 21 seven. because you did machine gun there. Okay, so... So it's only 19. All right, fine, six seven, hits. Six hits. <laughs> okay. And they still have to only... Which, it's that squad, so I could split. Uh, no, neither of these squads has line has arc okay. on that window. So everything's going into that red building. And two more dead. Two more dead. Check your leader. This is going to be this depleted squad on the end here, and that's going to go up under that Dishka squad up there in the building. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three on the Dishka, four on the squad. Hard cover. Doesn't seem to matter. Ah. Nothing there. Okay. Three on the squad. One, One on, the the on the Dishka. That's on the Dishka. Okay, nothing. But there's no leader, so. Right. Okay, so a dead Dushka guy. They have what, a shock? No, it was just a dead guy. But from They're earlier. A shock, yes. Yeah, okay. And uh, that'll do it for the Germans. Alright, so it's. 1 1, 2 2, and a, finally a chain of command point. The so team these, on the end. So these guys, uh, they've come in in some hard cover here next yep. to the building. They're going to fire at this team on the end. Eight and fives. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. Six hits. On the end team here. Nada. That's the one that I needed not to have anything. One dead. Dead on the middle on the other team. Then the pack. Nothing. So oh, leader. Nice. Not the leader, just a dead. So I'm pretty much down to just machine guns now on this end squad. Well, the Dishka's going to fire at it. Okay, Dishka. Five. That's uh, four. So four on that end one? Yep. Okay, and I'll put the... Uh, okay, I'll just put the uh, extra one on this end team here. So no cover here. One dead. Dead. Middle team. Point shock. shock. End team. That's light covered. Not nothing. A, okay, so dead. Oh, it's the leader, yeah. finally. He's been getting lucky. He's knocked unconscious. Bad things happen. But I don't lose anyone. It's probably nothing. Probably. And then a point of shock. Okay, this squad, second point off my lieutenant, is, um, they're going to fire, so it's another 10. Okay. At the end squad. Right. Uh, it's four more. Four more, okay, so one, two, three... I'll put the other one on the pack. I don't think you can because the pack's in different cover. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's in heavier cover, so it would have to go on the middle squad. Okay. Yeah. So we will do this end team here. Two dead. Two uh, points of shock. shock. Yeah, no Dishka there. That's dead. another dead. Nothing. So check the leader again. Oh, it's him again. Uh, he takes a wound. Hand me one of those red things there, would you? Yep. Okay. And then I got 13 shots out of so this minus squad. Minus one. Nothing. Nothing. All right. 13 out into that squad on the end. Okay. One, two. two five. Five more? Yep. Okay. For all the good it'll do. Well, you're doing pretty good. You got a wounded leader knocked out. Bunch of shock. That's another point of shock. shock. That might. Another point of shock. And the gun. Shrug oh. Dead. Dead. Not the leader. So another okay. dead gunner. And then another point of shock. So we're at th three shock. 
yep. four shock with uh, one, two, three, four guys. Pinned? Not quite. I need one more. Okay. One more. Wait, do you need double shock to break or double shock to Double pin? shock to break, more shock than guys to, to pin. So. I think you've got more shock than guys on that squad then. Uh, okay. All right, so maybe the air pin. So do you have anything left? No. Okay, so move on. Yeah, then they, they are pinned. So. Who's unconscious? Unconscious and wounded. Hey, a double phase and three fours. Just what I don't need you So to I do have Lankowski, so Lankowski's gonna have to come in and, and help out here. First thing I did, uh, uh, Lankowski came in over here, and he's had both of these teams throw a smoke grenade out, so these two teams are now covered by obscuring smoke. It doesn't block line of sight, it's just minus one to hit. He's also gonna have the pack fire up at the Dushka window up there with its HE4, one hit. One hit on the Dushka. Come on, kill somebody. Nope, just a point of shock. Point of shock. Okay, and then Kopke is going to do the 20 and 21, or, yeah, 20. 20 and 19. It's 21 and 19. 21 and 19 over here. Back at, now there's two squads here to split yep. in between. 19 shots from the first squad, needing fives. One, two, three. Not very good that time. Okay, one on the building, two on the squad. Okay. Dead. One dead, which is not my leader. Okay. Then one on the squad in the on the object in the objective building. Nothing. No. Okay. So the next will be the twenty-one shots. Yep. That was not a good roll. At least not as good as my older my other rolls have been. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three and three. Yep, and I do get another phase, thankfully. The guys in the open, one more dead. Well, the guys out. They're not in the open. Oh, yeah, the guys in the, the, in the entrenchment on the railway. Not, uh, one. So just a dead guy Nothing. on the railroad tracks and no yep. leader? Uh, let me see if it's a leader. It, it is. is. The, oh, yes. Uh, he loses a wound, so he's going to be uh, just one command now, so roll a bad thing for that. He's already down to seven. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. And that's it for that phase. Next phase, three, <laughs> three fives, a and six. And a four. And a four, and that's it? Oh yep. my god. I have a cop key this time, he's gonna take command. He's gonna do the same thing, 19 and 21. No, 19 and, 19 and 19. No, 19 and 20. No, no uh, machine gewehr, and then he's gonna have the pack fire. So the pack firing again, up into the building up there. With two hits, one each. Dishka lost another guy. Oh man! And a so point, a point of, shock. of shock. So no leader up there. Okay. Uh, not with. Well, not on the dishka. Doesn't have one. Right. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is guys. just blast away with this squad into these guys again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. Five hits each. Okay. Uh, dead in the shock. Not the leader. That's so those are the guys in the building? No, these guys. Okay. And then uh, the next one in the other squad. Did you roll for those other five yet? No, I haven't. Okay. So the squad in the building. One dead. Another dead. Check your leader. Lost. You're getting hit a lot. No. Okay. So then the next squad again, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Only five that time. So three and two, however you want. Okay, three on the guys in the entrenchment. Okay. No, they're dead. <laughs> you gotta get some new dice. Aren't these the new dice? These are the new dice. <laughs> it's like you need more new dice. Okay. It's... Check your leader. It's him again. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, he loses another wound, which means he's dead. So, And junior leader killed with it's minus two. two. So you're down to five. All right, next. Okay. Two on the guys in the building. Dead, <laughs> dead in the shock. Check your leader in there. No. So dead in the shock and the guys in the building. Oh, it's, took, a took a hammer in. 
three, three, two fives, and a four. So at the four, he's had his lieutenant just move back here. Yep. Just to get in range of this squad. So he's going to have them fire. He's going to have the Dishka fire. And then the squad with the three is going to fire. Pull a shot and fire. And then these guys are going to fire. So everyone's firing. So the Dishka will go first with ten shots. Uh, we're going to fire at the... Pack? No, the team in the smoke. Actually, if I can fire... Yeah, I'll fire at the pack because it won't be hit hurt by the smoke. Right. And it'll splash over onto that squad. Yep. Smart thing to do. A lot of sixes. Man. Six of them. Six sixes. <laughs> it's a good thing that wasn't a saving roll. So six hits. I've rolled those before. Yeah, six hits. Alright, so... There'll be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, think three, the odd... four, five. And the odd one you can put wherever you want. Let's go on that. I think it has to go on that one because it's in the least cover. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It has to all go on these. Because you can't see those guys, so these are going to okay. be more like this. Yeah. Two, two, two. All right, so on the gun, point another of point shock. of shock. The team. It's in medium co light cover, so another point of shock. And the other team. Another point of shock, so I think that may break them. It might. I don't think so. Well, they had seven. They're at nine now. Uh, but they got, uh, uh, They yeah, I think it might, actually. Okay, so then another point of shock on the pack. Yep. Okay, so they might break. We'll check. It. So yeah, the squad on the end did break. Uh, so I got to roll two bad things. So we'll do. I could use my uh, chain of command dice to avoid the leader routes, but we'll just do junior leader routes. Two. It's gotta be horrible. And then squad breaks. Probably a one. Yeah. Uh, squad breaks. What I roll? Uh, squad breaks is a three. Well, minus two. Holy crap. So I just went down four. Damn. So I'm down to five on my force morale now. Okay. They're going to need sixes because of the smoke. Okay. I think. Too bad you didn't roll that last roll this time. Uh, Still pretty good. Four hits on the pack. Okay. So pack and... Two squad on the pack, two on the squad next to it. Okay. So pack. Nothing. Nothing. Team. Shock, shock and nothing. A shock. Okay. So the next squad, clear the smoke. Five. Uh, apparently not. I only got one hit. One hit on the pack. Oh, dead. another dead. Not the leader, not the leader. though. Uh, so one of the guys in the crew there is dead. Yep. So, okay, do you have anything else? Yeah, I got one more squad. Okay. Dice at the pack. The last mm -hmm. squad. I should have only rolled nine dice on the last one, I forgot. But I didn't only hit, so... Uh, take four on the pack. Four on the pack, so two on the pack. Nothing. Then team one. Nothing. Nothing. So we skated on that, and that's it, I believe, for the yep. uh, Soviet phase. Come on, double phase. No double phase. One, three, four, four. Yep. So Lankowski with one of the fours. Uh, I had Lankowski. Actually, I have a three left, don't I? So I'm going to have the three. I'm going to have the junior leader pull the uh, two shock from okay. the gun. And then Lankowski is going to order them to move back. They got two inches back. And then with his last command, he had one of these guys throw a smoke grenade. So now smoke is blocking all these guys. And we are now out of arc. So really, it's just these two squads that can see these two squads now. Yep. And then I'm going to have Kopke... Um, Kopke is going to do, so I'll do machine gewehr. Mm -hmm. So I have a, th uh, a one, so I'll have one of the teams just fire by itself. And then I'll do a machine gewehr to give two more shots to the other team. So we're back up. So, um, needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Of course. Eight hits on to split them up between those two yep. squads okay, there. Okay, four on the guys in the building. Point of shock. Okay. I've got three. They're up to three shock. I got four more of these guys. Okay. Point one dead. One dead. Oh, and it's not a leader. Okay. All right, so then the other squad will fire now. Same thing. Fives. Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try to roll them in this tray here. Okay, so four on the unit in the building. Okay. Another dead, of course. Of course. And let's see if it's a leader. No. Okay, and three on the uh, squad in the entrenchment. Yep. So I'm gonna maybe win this firefight, maybe, unless you get a double phase. You, if I keep rolling Two like that another far, dead. No. Not a leader. So a dead and a shock on these guys, okay. Yep. So it'll be a phase. Yep. I might need to use that chain of command dice I have to interrupt to get my pack out of there. Take any more shooting. Five? A five. One, three, four, four, six. The one, the maxim has come out in the bunker. So that's a bunker, not that's a... That's a bunker. One. Yep. And he's going to fire at this end team over here. He can fire. Um, one. One hit. Mm-hmm. Point of shock. shock. At least it wasn't completely wasted. Yeah. Okay, so that was that squad, or the, the Maxim. So he's gonna, the lieutenant's gonna activate the disco who's gonna fire at the pack. I used my uh, chain of command dice to interrupt, and I didn't make it. So it's 2d6 minus the highest, I had a one in there. So I'm still within three of the edge, so he can still see me with need sixes. I got two hits on you, three hits on you. Three hits, hard cover. And I think you're far enough back, it's just on them. Okay. Yeah, because you can't see those other guys anyway. Yeah. Uh, point of shock. Point of shock. So, so this hopefully will be the last time he gets to shoot at the pack. Because all I got to do is move one inch back, and I'm out of line of sight. This squad at the pack. Okay. Eight and sixes. Mm-hmm. I whiffed. Total whiff. Okay. Anything else? Yep. And for his third commit point... This squad is going to take six, seven, eight shots at the end squad. Okay. Eight. Being, uh, fives? Yep. One, two, three, four hits. So two and two. Okay. So you win two. One. So we'll do, uh... One dead, one shock. One shock. One shock. Not the leader, but another dead German. Mm-hmm. A lot of dead Germans piling up Six, over here this time. Eight, nine, and then nine dice from inside the building at okay. that same squad. All right. I got three hits. Three, okay. So two on the uh, team on the far end there. Nothing. Point of shock. So these guys are up to two. Uh, is that it? Yep, I'm out of dice. Okay. And the dead leader. Okay, so I'm back up to three. One, one, two, four. All right, I made a four with the two and the two ones. And I've had Lankowski has ordered the gun back. He pulled their shock, so they're now out of line of sight in the woods. He's also pulled another shock and another shock. And then Kopke is going to pull another shock and then have both squads fire. So we're firing. We can only see... Well, I could see that uh, bunker now. Yep. Um, but I'm going to keep pouring it on these guys. Do which squad are you firing at? I guess uh, these guys here. Okay. So need fives. One. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. Okay, so... Three on these guys, two on the unit in the building. Nothing. Nothing. Right outside. Two more two dead. Two more dead. Uh, they don't have a leader, though. At least you got yeah. that one for you. Yeah. But they're getting pretty low. How many shots do they have now? Two. Two shots. Three, three guys. Okay, the last squad is going to fire at those guys as well, then. Uh, not very good. One. Two, three. Four. four. Only four, but I just need what, another shock on them in there. Nothing on them. Nothing on them. Okay, uh, I think that's it for the Germans then. It's all Soviet phase. Two more five, so he's up to a dice. Two, a four and two, I'm ending the turn. Okay. First thing he did was uh, that squad that was on the second floor, on the top floor there, has moved onto the roof, and they're gonna fire at half effect. 
see these guys on the end. Maybe fives. Three hits. Okay. So two on those guys and one on the other yep. guys. Nothing and nothing. Nothing. Okay. So that Turn was a... Uh, that um, was a two. With the maxim? No. So now with the four, I'm going to activate my senior leader. He's going to have this squad fire, this squad fire, and the maxim fire. Okay. So the maxim gets ten. Yep. Needs fives at the end squad. I think you're over 24 there. Yeah. Might want to measure it. Yeah, we might want to, get, we need to measure it. I think you'll be over, but probably not by a whole lot. Quite a bit, actually. So about it's three inches. Yeah. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four hits. Okay. So these guys here. Point of shock. And so they're up to nothing. two shock now. All right. So that was. Uh, the maxim, the squad yep. on the roof. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. I gotta break these guys. Of course, they don't have a leader anymore. Yeah. But I could drop your force morale down. I know. So I can break their ass. Um, two hits. Okay, bar one. Yep. Nothing. Dead. A dead? Oh, sh no, you can't be dead. Leader. Oh, leader. loot. <laughs> Uh, let's see roll which one, one it is. It's the big man. Top key, roll a one. No, he takes a wound. Senior leader wounded. So, senior leader wounded. Probably a minus one. Probably a minus, minus one. two. Cop key. Uh, so, do they have two shock with three guys? Yep. Okay. So, um, six for the machine gun, seven for the flag bearer, six for the machine. All right, goes down to six for the shock. Okay. Eight and I'm five. down to four on my horse morale now. One hit. End team? Nothing. All right. Anything else? No. That's it? That's it. All right. German phase. End of... All right. So we ended the turn. The smoke goes away. Uh, any knocked out leaders? Uh, my knocked out leader is dead. Your knocked out leader ran away. Routed. Okay. So that's all that's going to happen. Overwatches. We don't have any. So uh, on to the... So I have... Uh, I'm down four. to four dice now. Mm -hmm. Double phase and two fives. <laughs> Yay. Another five. So I got a chain of command dice and two ones. Two ones. Hmm. That's not very good. So <laughs> with two ones, all I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to have this squad fire and see if I can break those guys and drop their force morale. So needing fives. Uh, one. Two, three. So I'm going to put two three on hits. the oh guys God. in the building. Nothing. And even and if one you get on them, them, nothing. Nothing. That's not going to do it. They they still need two more to break. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. So he's still at five on his force morale. Double phase. End of turn. End of turn. <laughs> and a four and a two. Four and a two. The Jiska has uh, he's down in that bottom window now, but from that bottom window he can now see these guys in the trees. And then the just or the uh, Maxim is going to fire. Mm-hmm. By the command of the lieutenant. Yep, and those for fives. Even fives. One, two, three, four. So two and two. Okay, so end team. One shock. One shock. So they're up to two. Yep. They're up to three. And this then I'm going to reduce untouched. one point of shock on these guys. We have to be attached to do that. I think you had to be attached. You, didn't have to, you could be. You have you to could, be in. They have to be out of line of sight. Your lieutenant isn't attached to them, okay. so they can't. Unless he moves over here, which I wouldn't no. do if I were you. No, he's not. <laughs> then, um, these guys are going to fire. So it's six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man, ten, I should have uh, interrupted before you nine. pulled that shock. Damn, that's what I should have done. I'm going to interrupt right now. Okay. I should have did it before you pulled the shock. What are you going to do? I'm going to interrupt with this squad and have them fire at these guys. Okay. So, I didn't pull any shock, so... I thought you, oh, you didn't. That's no, right. You never, didn't. You never you couldn't. Okay. So, uh, yeah, needing fives. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four each. Okay, I need to break those guys. No, you don't. Die. A dead. Uh, one dead. They're pinned. pinned. No, they're not pinned. 
They're not pinned. They have equal shock. Yep. So they can't break, or they can't pin, but they can break, break. if they take another shock. Okay. And the other one, nothing. Okay. So they're one away from breaking. Six. Unless he brings his lieutenant out, he's not going to be able to pull any of those shocks. So what else you got? Nine into that end squad from the guys? building. Okay. Need fives. Five. Okay, three on the uh, end team. Oh, Look Jesus. at that. They're hiding behind these trees. One shock. <laughs> so they're up to four. So I have seven shock now on that squad, though. Yeah, I'm going to try to add some more because these guys are all up on the roof. Of, getting a little bit messed up. The guys on the top are going to fire now. Um, four. Four hits. All right. End, end team again. Again, those guys are hunkered down, man. Oh, One shit. One dead and a shock. Nope. Not the leader. So a dead. So we're at shit, man. five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dudes nine left. Nine dudes. You turn we could, and... We could pin. We could pin. So your phase. Double phase. I can't bring the tank on. Uh, two fours, a one, a five, and a six. The uh, 50 mil mortar came in over there. He bought an entrenchment for it. Yep. Or he had one left. So he's going to use it there. So he's in the entrenchment with those guys, essentially. Two hits on the end squad. Oh, boy. Okay, and team. No cover. Oh. Yeah, nothing. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> hey, man. We're hiding. So what else you got? That was a one. The four, the dishka, the... Maxim in this squad are all pouring it into them. Okay. First thing is the dishka. Three. Three hits. All right, two Three on the end. Open. Look at this. Point of shock. Point of shock, though. Point of shock. Okay, these guys might be... Nine with one... What did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine with nine. And Ten I'm going to count. Fire the fif me. 15 at them from the... Squat on the roof. Okay. Eating fives? Yep. Three, four, five, six. Okay, three on the end team. Uh, two, two points, points of shock. shock, so they're definitely going to probably be pinned. Can, yep. One dead, another shock. Another Let's dead. see who it is. It is the leader. The leader. It's a big it's man. cocky again. He's, he's already wounded once. He's Twice. wounded again. He's dead. No, he's got three wounds. Three wounds. So okay. it's a bad thing. That's a nice minus two. two. Probably. Oh man. And the max I'm gonna shoot. Four more. Four more. <sighs> nothing. <laughs> Those guys on the end, man. They're good. Another point of shock. No, you're in hard cover. It's nothing. All right. So uh, down to three command dice here. One, two, four. Right, Lankowski. Uh, Kopke's down to one. He's wounded twice. He's ineffective at one. So I'm going to use Lankowski. He's within four of that team. So he's going to pull three shock. And with the two, we're going to have the uh, squad, the intact squad, fire at those guys and see if we can break them. Uh, one, two, three, four hits. So two on the mortar team. Yep. One on this team. One on this team. Well, I don't even know if these guys are within four of those guys anymore, are they? Um... No. Okay, so two on that team. Oh, I did. And they broke. They're going to break. Okay, God, so that'll be team breaks. So roll the bad oh, thing for that. I told you they were going to break. I lose two. Yeah. I told you. I told so you. Section, okay. section break. Yeah. Minus two. So yeah. what are you down to? Three. Okay, we're both at three. All right, and the two on the mortar team. Point of shock. So those guys, I might be able to break that mortar team. Uh, no, they're attached. Yeah, they're within four of them. Okay. All right, so that's that for our Germans. Okay, so we're both at three on our force morale. A three, a five, five and a four. four. Okay. All horrible. the tanks coming on. Oh, boy. He won his back after the turn ended. He's going to fire at the uh, pin squad on the end. One. One hit. So end, end team there. Yep. So, Point uh, of shock. Yeah, because they're in hard cover. Yep. So I got six four. machine gun dice at him for fives. Okay. Two. All right, end team. Nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I got, okay, then I got nine dice from the Dishka Adam. All right, Lieutenant, ordering the Dishka to fire the pin squad. Need fives. Uh, I got four. another four. Okay. And you're still in light cover. Still in light cover. Man, that end team is just amazing. Damn it. <laughs> Look at this. Ten from the, sorry, fifteen from the squad on the roof. They need fives. You're in hard cover. Four. Four. Hard cover. One dead. Oh, they finally took a something. Nothing. Yeah, hardcover. So a dead, so we'll dead. see if it's the leader. No. no. Thank God. But another dead dude. And I got ten more from the Maxim Adam. Okay. I need to break that uh, mortar team. It's only a team, though. Four. Four hits. So Four again, hits. two on the end. Hardcover, though. God. Again, nothing. <laughs> Point of shock. Point shock. Okay, so they're back to five. They're still at four. We're still in hard cover, so German phase. Uh, two threes and a one, all right. So a yep. three and a four. So I made a four. Uh, Lankowski moved himself over. He pulled the shock off of these, so we're down to four and three. Mm -hmm. And then with the other three, we're going to have this squad just fire at the uh, at the mortar. Guys. The mortar. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Three on the mortar team. Oh, nothing. Three on the... Uh, need something there. One point of shock. Okay. Yeah, that point of shock would have been good even on the, on the mortar team. Uh, okay, that's it for me. Yep. Six, five, and a what? Two. A two to work with. You're gonna have the squad on the roof, I believe. Yes. Fire at these guys. So these guys are not pinned. So they're in hard cover, they're in soft cover. So he could put all of his shots onto these guys. Which is what he needs to Six do. Six hits. Okay, so three on the uh, team on the far team there. One dead. dead. Two shots. Two shock. Okay, it's not the leader, so. The squad, yeah. All right, uh, I think that's it. So we're, these phases are going to go quick. Yeah. We're both down to low force morale. A three and a one. That's all you needed. Mm, I, I got to try to do try to do something to that mortar team. All right, so I've had uh, Kopke. I'm sorry, Kopke's wounded. Mm -hmm. Lankowski that's pulled good. the shock, and he's going to have both squads fire. So the pin squad is going to still get seven shots, and everything's going into that mortar. Got a break. We're gonna have a chance here. Two hits. Two hits. Okay, okay one, one each. Mortar. Something. Another dead guy in there. See if it's the leader. No. No. Okay, and then the other squad is gonna do a full blast. That's a shit blast. One, two, <laughs> three hits. Uh, okay. Two on the mortar. Two points of shock. shock. Oh my god. That's not good. And then nothing. And that's it. So Soviet phase. What'd you get? Four and two twos. Dushka is gonna be the lieutenant. Is gonna fire at these guys. The non team, team, which is always good. One, two, three, four, five. No cover. Five hits. All right. Yep. So uh, team, far team. Dead One enough. dead. Point of shock. You said how many? Five. Five. Point, of point shock. shock. Wait, these guys? Okay, so they're up to three shock. Let's check our leader. Oh, crap, that might be it. If it's one of my big men. It, it is. is. Oh, shit. Cocky. Yeah, I'll see which one it is. Huh? So, uh, four plus is Kopke. So it's no, Lankowski's Lankowski. hit. Okay, see what happens to him. He's knocked out. Oh, man. I can't afford that. Now I'm down to a level one leader. Yep. And a bad thing. Minus two. I'm down to one. Yep. So that's five. Okay. I'm down to one, so I'm pretty much done. 
But I'll let him finish his shooting because it might matter later. Three, or two, four, five, six, eight. Eight. Okay, so four into the far team. One dead, one shock. Okay. Four into the close team. Oh, damn. Two dead, one sh two shock. Check our leader. It's a leader. <laughs> oh, crap. Which one is it? It's the junior, it's junior leader, leader of that squad. Nothing. He's not down. Uh, no, uh... He rolled a two. Okay, so he's... He's not down. All right. So, okay, I'm sorry. So, so let's see what happens to him, or see what the bad thing is. That might one. be a minus one, so that might be it. Yeah, I think that is it. All right. All right, so at the end of the game, the Soviets have finally won a game. They've secured their uh, supply base at Sutovo, and uh, there was a lot of movement in the uh, after-action stuff, so... First platoon has been pretty much wiped out. They've lost uh, five men killed, three men wounded, but they've also had five men captured, two displaced. So they're down like over like 12 or 14, 15 guys. So they won't be back. Um, but first platoon did a hell of a job. They got all the way to the end table. So I can't complain. Um, they just got in a bad situation here. Brought that flamethrower. I didn't even do anything with it. Um, but uh, yeah, so first platoon, they got hammered in this one, but they did a great job. So Jens and Luke uh, did really well. Now the Soviets, their men's opinion is now at minus five, even though they won. But they still lost like, what? 19 guys. 19 guys. <laughs> but they won. Uh, but the men's opinion, they're still not happy. The CO's opinion, though, did go up two to minus one. And his outlook is now thoughtful, so he's not going to be losing a minus one for that. But he will be a minus one stone in his men's opinion for force morale. But he's not going to lose his uh, uh, support point anymore either. Um, so I used all of my... Uh, all of my resource points. I used all my resource points. Yep. This was the most useless. Yeah, that thing hasn't waste. done anything. It. It's not good enough to take on it. It's if there was another tank, yeah, it'd be decent, but. Uh, no, because I mean, we saw what happened. It ran. Uh, it ran away because you put a 50 millimeter shell into it. Right. 26s do better. Yeah, your T26 did good that one game briefly, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, tank, I would if I were you, I would have just brought a bunch of wire and, I don't know, something. I mean, I thought about the it. The tanks haven't done a whole lot for us I mean, in this I've, game. I've thought about it. Campaign. I mean, your tanks have done very well for you. Yeah, my I charter. Yes, yeah, that one. <laughs> that would um, be great. I, I thought about, you know, mining or wiring, because I knew you were going to set up on that as your as your right. position. But, honestly... Well, I brought the wire and the mine teams. That's exactly what I figured, is that... that if I deny you the ability to deploy in, to, you can clear it effectively from behind. Right, I would be able to clear it. Which we've seen earlier. Yeah. And so I really did figure bringing, I, I figured I needed stuff that would drop cover, So and I needed additional firepower. So I brought the Dushka and the Maxim gun. Always a good call. Two Dushkas <laughs> would be even better. Yes, it would have. <laughs> I just don't have a bunker for a Dushka. Well, yeah, we could just proxy it and say it's yeah. a Dushka in a bunker. Um, I'm working on it. So yeah, it's uh, so the Soviets they were at three. I dropped to zero. And yeah. Jens was uh, knocked unconscious, or no, he was wounded twice, and, yeah. and Luke was knocked unconscious. Yeah. And then I had a squad route, which is never a good thing. And you had another junior leader knocked out. And I had a junior leader route. Yeah. Yeah. And another junior leader, yeah, knocked, knocked out. Unconscious. So yeah, so the Soviets finally made their stand. They held Sutovo, which is good. Um, so next, next game, Robert's going to have the initiative. And he will be able to attack into Yartsevo again. And possibly try to get a toehold in there. Those oh no, you still got to hit table four. Yeah, I'm sorry. those BT-7s. You got you to gotta clear table four. Yeah, the BT-7s. Oh, yeah, I probably should do that. So the BT-7 platoon. Of course, if you don't have any support points, I don't know if you can bring it. I think I can still bring it. It oh, costs a resource, or maybe it costs a resource point to deploy. It might. I know. Uh, we'll check it, check and we'll have so, and then we'll, there, we'll also be able to deploy it, or roll for resource points again, mm -hmm. at some point. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know when exactly, but uh, it shouldn't be too much longer. I, maybe next game, maybe the game after. T twenty sixes. T twenty six platoon. Maybe I'll bring my uh, my platoon. Maybe. 
and we'll have a tank platoon battle. Okay, anyway, yeah, so it was a, it was a close game. Uh, I thought if I could have broke that stupid uh, mortar team, oh, I, maybe I, I could have had it. I fully expected to lose it. Well, I, I think it was a good idea to put them there, even though they're a small team, but at least that gave mm -hmm. the the other section that broke a chance. I mean, didn't but I lost <laughs> I lost a man or two in heavy cover every single round of firing. Yep, nineteen and, times. Yeah, it's crazy. You lost. I lost ten dudes. Ten I mean, dudes. And then a squad routed. Yeah. And then that but, squad got. I mean, you lost. Captured. You lost them. I think the first couple of rounds, but like that platoon was taking thirty or forty dice of fire. Oh, this, yeah, the team on the very end was and rolling ones and twos every time. Well, now they're captured, so maybe you can ask them their secret. <laughs> How'd you now do I it? Have to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, send them to the prison camp. Uranium mines. We'll never see them again. So yeah, so uh, yeah, good game. I'm glad the yeah. Soviets got back on it and made a campaign of it again. So he'll be attacking into table four next time. Yep. And I'll be defending for a first time in a long time, and we'll see a new platoon. Uh, first platoon's been, this whole time has been playing, and they're done now. So they I think are. I have one or two more platoons. I can still get replacements for these guys too, though. So I might. Yeah, we may see them again. We may, or at least we'll split them up maybe and repopulate. I don't know. So mm -hmm. anyway, uh, that'll do it for this game. Uh, as usual, check out our Patreon page and our Facebook group and all our other social media stuff. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, if you guys want to play this campaign yourself, um, I'll put the link in the description, or you can find it on our Facebook page or the t uh, t or the <laughs> Chain of Command Facebook group as well. It's all over the place, so mm -hmm. uh, try it out. It's fun, um, and have fun with it. And thanks, Stephen, for writing it again. Uh, he's an amazing campaign writer. He's written several of them for us. The Abbeville one, this one, the Saipan one. So he's really good at that. And it's just up to us to make them good campaigns. I mean, they're good campaigns, but... Uh, Sometimes our playing maybe leaves a little bit to be desired, but that's fine. Uh, we're resetting chain of commands. So, anyway, uh, that'll do it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.